That's right. School's out for summer. This is Clark and Kendall's Weekend Preview. I'm Carol A. Clark. And I'm Greg Kendall. And we're bringing you all the events coming up this weekend, starting out with the Red Elvises tomorrow night, Friday, May 25th, 7 p.m., Ashley Pond. It's Russian Rock and Roll. This is the biggest show of the year, the favorite band in Los Alamos. Uh, if you don't, if you go to any show this year, make sure you go to tomorrow night's show. You know, this group was so popular out in Santa Monica, California. They used to play on the Third Street Promenade, and the city council in Sa Santa Monica had to shut them down because the crowds were so huge <laughs> they got too crazy. that it just began to block all the streets, and really? It, it really caused gridlock, and they had to say, Red Elvises, go somewhere else. Uh, They're coming to our town. All right. We're excited. Yeah, that's going to be good. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, then we've got the, uh, the Hawks to Hilltopper event at Urban Park. That's going to be Friday, May 25th, so this Friday from uh, 12 to 3. And I guess that's an after, you know, final after-school thing. It's a celebration of the 8th graders going to transition to the high school. And the fun begins with a barbecue. They're going to have inflatable toys. And it's going to end with a shaving cream war. The event is, is, will end with the Los Alamos Fire Department hosing off the students after their shaving cream war. It is, so that should be wild. It is so fun to see. I've been to several of them over the years, mm. and they're just... Hopefully it we is can get so some photos funny. of that one. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll put some up on the Los Alamos yeah. Daily Post for, for everybody. Saturday, um, May 26th from 7 to 9 p.m., guitars are going to play at the Lodge. Um, it will be Rio Grand Guitar Quartet. Tickets are 15 and $10 for Los Alamos Arts Council members. Uh, and the pu public is invited to attend. It'll be really beautiful music. And then on Memor uh, the Memorial Day Best Ball Golf Tournament. And uh, it's the annual golf tournament. Uh, I'm, not who, I'm not sure who's sponsoring this, but it's May 26th through 28th. And, and to get more information, call Donnie Torres at 662 Eight one three nine. Donnie Torres is one of the golf pros at the Los Alamos Golf Course. Oh, okay, all right. Senior Appreciation Night because school's out for the summer. Uh, they graduate on Saturday, uh, Los Alamos High School seniors, and uh, they and their friends are invited to celebrate the 30th year of Senior Appreciation Night. Um, it starts Saturday night and runs through Sunday. Participants enjoy barbecue, carnival games, climbing walls, roller skating, movies, a pancake breakfast. The event begins over at Fuller Lodge with a barbecue Saturday and ends Sunday morning with pancakes at the Senior Center. Anyone wanting information about that can call James Feltz, F-E-L-T-Z. He is with the County Recreation Department, 662-8173. And this win uh, weekend is the warm water weekend at the Larry Walkup Aquatic Center and on Saturday and Sunday. And they're going to have their inflatable obstacle course in the water with water toys, inner tubes, water basketball, foosball. So that's going to be a lot of fun. And then we've got the Valle Caldera uh, three-day event, hiking, shuttles, daily hikes, guided hikes, tours, fly fishing, Banco Bonito, mountain biking trails, contact the Valle Caldera for more information, valleCaldera.gov slash come visit. And then the uh, Summerfest is going to be coming up in, uh, what is that, next weekend? Uh, Summerfest at the Pajarita Mountain. It's Saturday, June 2nd. They're going to have live, mu live music by the Blue Hornets. Uh, the New Mexico Brewers Festival is going to be from noon to 5. The lifts are going to be open for you to hike. Uh, and you can bike, and we've done that. It's really fun to go hiking up there. Uh, so you can take the lift and then hike down, and there's some fairly easier trails uh, along the periphery to, to come down. It'll be interesting to see because the fire hit up there, so this, the uh, it will be interesting to look at how the fire affected the area. The uh, There's going to be a free shuttle from Los Alamos, so you can get up there from 9 to 5.30 every 30 minutes. You can catch that bus at the uh, high school Sullivan Field parking lot. Now, what about season passes June 1st? They start selling season passes for Pajarito for next mm -hmm. ski season mm -hmm. June 1st. So, mm -hmm. And they're cheaper if you buy them early, way cheaper. So uh, get, a, get a hold of some passes. The Pajarito punishment is also going to happen 
uh, during this uh, Summerfest. It's, they're doing a downhill race this year. Uh, the, they're not doing their cross-country race this year because the, of the fire that's affected the course. So they're only doing a downhill, but it's going to be very exciting because there's going to be high-speed downhill racers. It's very good for, uh, if you want to see some really exciting action, you can go line up along the hillside there and watch the downhill riders come down. They're very athletic. That's June 3rd, uh, the Sunday uh, and on June 2nd, the Saturday, they're going to have a jump jam, and they're going to have practice races all day uh, just to, to prepare for the race on Sunday. And that jump jam is at 3 p.m. Now, there are two exhibits that are continuing. They've both had their openings here in Los Alamos. One is the J. Robert Eimenheimer exhibit, which is uh, on display at the Mesa Public Library. And the other is the Naked exhibit, which is at, uh, on display at Fuller Lodge Arts Center. Both well worth seeing. Really interesting yeah, stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna go get. I haven't seen either of them. I'm gonna go see them today. And I saw the uh, I saw Harry Burgess, the, the county administrator, and uh, and his assistant over there, uh, checking checking them out, looking at the uh, J.R. Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. Uh, we've also got the Bradbury Science Museum is going to be open on Friday nights in June and July until 9 p.m. offering movies and speakers and demos. So check with the Bradbury Science Museum on their schedule of what they'll be doing. But uh, uh, I've heard that other businesses are planning to be open on Friday nights, and we'll get more information on which businesses are planning to do that. Uh, I think I heard the Art Center wanted to do that, too. So we'll, we'll get the scoop on that this week. Uh, I think they're going to have some restaurants open as well because what they're trying to do is capture all the people that in, that live in our town that want to be out. Something. But also, we have a lot of tourists, and a lot of us have family that co that comes to visit us during the summer. Mm -hmm. So being able to take them set, uh, Friday night to the, to the Bradbury, Bradbury, for Museum. example, those yeah. are the, it just it's going to make it fun. We won't need to go off the hill to have a good time. Um, springtime art show is um, kicking off at Karen Ray Fine Arts Gallery on Trinity Drive. Right. That gallery is becoming really something. Yeah. She is having exhibit after exhibit of really interesting great artists. And that's directly across the street from Ashley Pond, and it's hard to miss. And there's a big metal dinosaur right out in front. So uh, the uh, there's going to be Geek Out Game Nights at the Mesa Public Library every Wednesday from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. It's brought to you by the friends of the... LA, the Los Angeles County Libraries and their volunteers. So if you want to have some fun playing games, bring your own game, or they have a bunch of games. I saw the, uh, t today I saw them wheeling out the game boards, and it was a very large pile, about a three-foot high pile of games that they were wheeling out of the, the game room. Uh, now what about, what is this singles this, at the co-op? This is just my idea. It, uh, I, it, it struck me that the co-op is a great place to meet singles. Uh, because if you go there, you obviously are, care about your health because you're at the co-op getting good food, and you're going to meet other people, and you, and you show your, that you're, you, know, you are into the health and outdoor activity probably. Certain so, kind of lifestyle. Yeah. So it, it just struck me that it would be a cool place to, to be on a Friday or Saturday night. You know, go shopping, and maybe you'll meet a, you know, a like-minded single. Well, as a matter of fact, I was there Friday night because, or well, Friday at 4 uh, last week because they had the big groundbreaking of this bio oh. research lab. Yeah. Now, I didn't realize on the side of, I guess it's the north side of the co-op right yes. there, there's a, a beautiful patio with a cover over it, mm -hmm. but then it's open to the outside air, and they've got tables and chairs. You can sit, yeah, you out can sit there. outside. Do they have any music going? Uh, they do have speakers out there. I and, mean, uh, they do what play a pleasant, music. beautiful... And they also have this thing called the Kiva, which has uh, tables and um, shade, uh, those shade umbrellas that oh, you can yeah. open up and get some shade uh -huh. out there. So you might go have a nice, healthy lunch or dinner, because the deli serves food. Yep. And, um, and then, who knows, you might meet your future spouse. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay. Moving right along, the Y is having their strong kids classic golf tourney, tournament that is going to be on Saturday June the 9th at 1 p.m. and it's a $75 fee and that's going to include the the tournament which is a shotgun start scramble it's going to be fundraising to help uh, the many great Y programs that help kids and their families and uh, uh, it also includes a dinner and more a lot more so check with the Y on their 
their Strong Kids Classic Golf Tournament. Uh, also the, at the Y is the I Care Adventure. This is uh, a program for ages f uh, age 5 through 11, and that is starts May 30th, so you've got to get involved in that right away, and then it goes through July 27th. Th then they have a second program, and the, uh, the I Care Adventure program is an outdoor camp type program with all kinds of activities for kids, and then the I Care Camp is July 30th through August 10th. So check with the Y on those to get your kids involved in something fun this summer. And Great. that's that's what we've got. Great, and it took us uh, eleven minutes. That's this a record. Is, this <laughs> is a record. So uh, I hope you'll stay in town and check out some of these fun yeah. activities this weekend. Um, with Monday being Memorial Day, most places uh, people don't have to work, so they can be out and about. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully, the winds will die down a little bit, and uh, yeah. and uh, it should be a nice sunny weekend. Yeah. We're planning to go to the Puyai Cliffs. Uh, and tour that we haven't done that yet. Oh, um, so it's beautiful there. We hope there. to get over there. Take the take the old folks out. Uh -huh. Great. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you all for listening, and we'll see you next week on Clark and Kindle's weekend preview.